This video is about the top remedies for a UTI updated. I had an older video on this topic, but I wanted to update it with some new information. A UTI stands for urinary tract infection, and this can be in the lower part as in a bladder infection, or the upper part, which could be more of a kidney infection. Now, the most common pathogen that's involved with these UTIs is E. coli. Now, normally in our bodies, E. coli is not harmful, okay? It's neutral. It lives in our body, and it doesn't create any problem. So what would make this E. coli unfriendly? And the answer to that would be the environment, okay, that it lives in. So let's go through the different things that can change the environment for this microbe. And there's other microbes too, mainly bacteria, that can turn more pathogenic and create this problem. Uh, number one, having high glucose. So if you're diabetic, you're at a higher risk than someone that doesn't have diabetes because all this sugar changes the environment and it feeds a lot of the pathogens, especially uh, funguses, yeast, and candida, okay, which can also create a UTI. So based on that, you'd want to definitely cut out the sugar if you have a UTI. Next point is high estrogen, okay. Now this can occur when someone's pregnant or they're ovulating. There's a higher chance of getting a UTI during ovulation and when you're pregnant because of this estrogen, okay. So there's definitely a shift of estrogen that can affect your immune system and also going the other way too because if your estrogen is lower okay that can alter the um, the barrier the like the vaginal flora the good bacteria that's supposed to protect you and this is why women that are postmenopausal have a higher risk of getting UTIs as well so estrogen too high or too low can be a problem now the other thing is antibiotics especially quinoline uh, antibiotics kill off not just the good, but the bad, and then these pathogenic bacteria get pissed off, and then they start to create problems and inflammation and infection, and also funguses and candida, because antibiotics don't kill the fungus and the yeast, so they live. They just You just kill out all the bacteria, so now we have this overgrowth. It can create a situation, and especially if you have to take frequent antibiotics, and you develop this resistance to antibiotics, and then they don't work anymore, and now you have UTIs very, very often. So it's not the best long-term solution. Now, intercourse can also be a problem uh, with cross-contamination. And then catheters can also increase your risk of getting a UTI. So let me just tell you uh, some really good remedies that you can use for a UTI. So the first remedy is called Buku. Uh, this is probably one of the best things you can take for a UTI. It's stood the test of time. It's been around for a very, very long time. It's highly antimicrobial. It's anti-adhesive. In other words, it prevents the bacteria from attaching. It's been shown to decrease the risk of getting an infection in the bladder and the prostate and the urethra. And on top of that, it's a natural diuretic. Okay, next one is cranberry. This one is also anti-adhesive and it prevents the bacteria from accumulating on the inside of the bladder and the other ducts. And it can also inhibit biofilms, which tend to accumulate in the bladder and the kidney and the connections. Then you have uva yersi, which can act as a natural diuretic. And the next one is juniper, which is a great antimicrobial for the bladder as well as the kidney. And the last two things, which are not herbal remedies, but they're highly recommended. Number one, doing fasting. Fasting is probably one of the most uh, potent things to help your immune system really fast. Just stop eating for a while, maybe a whole day, maybe two days, and you will probably see great improvements in your immune system. And then also, like I just mentioned previously, cut out the carbs. Go on a low sugar diet because that's what feeds these pathogens. So we want to starve them off, especially if it's a yeast infection, a candida infection, or a fungal infection. All right. Thanks for watching. Hey, before you go, if you're benefiting from any of my content, I would love to hear about your success story. Please share it in the link down below.